Good afternoon, Dr. Sarnow. Today I'll be making a case for studying Antonio Salieri. I assume most musicians have seen the movie Amadeus that chronicles the turbulent relationship, and I put that in quotes, between Amadeo, uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Antonio Salieri. But what most people may not know is the relationship wasn't very turbulent at all. In fact, they respected one another. When you're at the top of any field like this, uh, 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 in music, there are always rivalries, but uh, this rivalry was uh, as well respected in how to them. Uh, the movie and maybe much of the disrespect that Salieri has faced in later years has come from the play by Alexander Pushkin. Uh, Mozart, it's called Mozart and Salieri, uh, which was then turned into the movie Amadeus. Before the 20th century, Salieri was greatly respected around the world and even a, uh, a teacher to great composers like Beethoven, Franz Schubert, and even Liszt. Uh, here's a little, about a little bit about Salieri's life. Salieri was an established composer in Vienna when Mozart got there. He was known as a great composer of opera. In fact, Lorenzo de Ponte, who we will get to in a minute, uh, wrote the libretto for, uh, uh, for Cosi Franz Tutti, and was Salieri turned down, which Mozart later turned into the, the famous opera. As I said, there was a respectful rivalry between the two composers and, uh, for several reasons. Uh, for one, Mozart felt that Italian composers were favored over Austrian composers, which Mozart wrote this to his father, Leopold, in letters. Um, Salieri was a favorite of King Joseph II. The biggest reason that I personally believe the two may have had a rivalry is the relationship between Salieri and Lorenzo de Pont. Uh, de Pont Historically, the most uh, influential librettist for Mozart, but he had a great relationship with Salieri as well. Uh, Salieri was also sought after as a teacher. In fact, Mozart, uh, and he aspired to be the piano teacher for Princess Elizabeth of Wittenberg. Uh, but Salieri won the job most likely because of the connection that he had with royalty. Uh, and in fact, uh, at the time again, he was a sought after teacher, which uh, Mozart really wasn't. Um, one of the works that I believe, Dr. Sarno, that you could use in your class is the most famous opera by Salieri called Serrare. The opera was originally written by French librettist Pierre uh, Beaumarchais, I hope I said that correctly. Uh, however, it's turned into the Italian opera by the point. Serrare was more popular at the time and Arias prefer Serrare to even uh, Don Giovanni, which is more popular today. It was regarded as an opera made before its time. Compared to big complex operas like Wagner, with big staging, big costumes, big music, but having the flavor of Greek operas like Monteverdi's Orpheus. It was an opera before its time. Now I want to play a little quick section of the finale from Ferrari called, and this is in French, I hope I do this correctly, Quel plaisir de nos cœurs s'empare. Translated to what pleasure of our hearts take hold. bass comes in. Oops. Later in the piece, we got the soprano and the bass. So you hear the strings, the horns, the percussion, all that good stuff. So yeah, big, big opera. Very nice. Um, it's a big piece. Maybe it was not performed very much because of its complexity and virtuosic nature of the piece. The highs are really high, the lows are really low, and uh, the bass and the soprano are probably one of the best of the world at the time. What a finale. After Mozart died, uh, Salieri conducted, conducted many of Mozart's pieces and even taught his son Franz Xavier. When Salieri got older, he was not doing very well mentally and was said to have dementia or some form of dementia and uh, was said to have a broken mind. It is here in his life that he said to have poisoned Mozart. Salieri said that he poisoned Mozart himself. But again, this is considered a rambling of an old broken mind. Um, and nobody really paid attention to it. But uh, earlier, I believe uh, the rumor got around that he poisoned him. And uh, that really hurt his career and his legacy. History lost its lust and love for music of Antonio Salieri. But why not study the hero of our hero, which is Mozart? Antonio Salieri is the most forgot about famous composers in history, and at this time we could 
study the complex, complicated, and revolutionary music of Antonio Salieri. Thank you. I hope you stay warm and have a good day.